Hello and welcome to another game on Arena today between Jon Snow and Winchester. And as far as I know, they played a couple of games, I'm not sure which number this is, but it's a game between Chinese Jon Snow in green and Winchester in purple playing as the Vikings here. I've seen this game when it was played, actually I spectated it a little bit at least. I don't think I saw all of it. I uh, couldn't do so, but it was running here. Let's go for the maps. We have Chinese start, of course, for Jon Snow. Let's just follow what he's doing. He's got only six on, on the sheep here. He found them very early. He built a house. He's going for the lumber camp already. Interesting. Usually you see seven villagers on the sheep here. Dropping. Very good timing and getting the next one. So, so Jon Snow. A little bit lucky with the sheep of course, but you can do six wolves then obviously. Let's see how he's going to do it. Going for the next sheep already. He's right now missing a little bit of food. Has to drop once again. That's the only problem at that start. Six villagers on sheep. You're missing a little bit of food. And he's going for the standard build actually here then. Um, independent or regardless that he's Chinese, he's got four on wood right now. He's going for the boar next probably, getting once again that idle time here. And we have the first fights between the scouts. Let's see if the um, players actually are going to... S yeah, they're fighting. Both are. And I think should be good for Jon Snow. Yeah. We won that one, Winchester, saying that I'm losing here, so he knows um, I won't be able to get my deer in. So let's see what I can do. Jon Snow now going for the next sheep, villagers on the berries, and sending a wall to build a house and get a boar in. There we go. Should be good timing. Yeah. We will obviously, hopefully, have enough food to drop to get another villager. And of course, he's done loom as Chinese. He got enough food. Boar is in, and he's got seven on the boar. Very nice for him. Very good start for Chun Snow. And of course, he's won the scout fight, so he has a distinct advantage here. He's got four deer inside his base, the two boar are inside. The main stone to the front, but it's okay. Main gold also to the front, not too nice. Second gold outside, second stone outside, and the third gold on the side of his map, but also outside his base. It's okay, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Winchester, let's go to him. He lost the scout, so he won't be able to get the deer. Unless John Snow is going to lure them, that would be funny. Uh, haven't seen it, but it, I'm pretty sure it's happened before. Main gold also to the front, not too good. Just main stone to the side, close to the second stone here, which is actually outside. Then we have a second gold on the same side here, could be important later on. Uh, third gold inside, and we have two extra golds here, which is very nice for Winchester. The only problem, he didn't scout them. He was going like to here, but then he turned around with the scout, so he's missing that one. He's walling the, this off. Oh, this is not good. Uh, village has stopped here. It's not, not going around, but it's a little bit of idle time. Winchester not housed here, but he should. Uh, he's deleting the wall actually and then building the house here. A good decision for him. He must be going for farms then because he can't get it here. He will have only four on berries, enough for him. Going for gold. Standard build then without deer. Might get a few more farms, I'm assuming at least. Should get like five, six maybe. Jon Snow should get the deer in. Yeah, we can see already that two deer are inside. Is that the second one? I think it's no, it's just, uh, just one. That one was the boar sheep. Uh, and 26 population. Up we go. Very good time for the Chinese. Very good click up. And second deer is already in. Mm, number three and four are falling. He's got three on gold. He's not on stone. So we are gonna see monks if he's going aggressive. Monks on siege from the Chinese player, which is of course a very good decision against the Vikings. Viking player then going for barracks, mm, which really is expected. You need some map control here. If you're getting rushed as most uh, Vikings from a monk player, that's really hard to defend. We've got two lumber camps from Jon Snow. We've got two lumber camps from Winchester here, Barracks is up, uh, and Jon Snow, a lot of wood in the bank, missing a little bit of gold, missing a little bit of food as well, I feel. Let's see if he's going to be able to go up. I think he c can do it, especially uh, if he's getting the last deer in, which is going a little bit, I'm uh, recalling my MPQ. Cuckoo, Cuckoo, I'm not sure. Cuckoo, uh, let's see how I can do it. Maybe sell a little bit, but not too sure. Blacksmith and Archer Range coming up here then for Winchester. Who is up to fuel age as well? One population behind, but the same villager number. Uh, and he's got six farms right now. Winchester also missing a little bit of food. Oh, as is Jon Snow is on 28 villagers, but not going anymore. He's waiting for the food. He's idling his TC. 777, that's good. And 
Yeah, there we go. Up to Castle Age. Winchester then deleting his walls, actually. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, he won't be able to click up too soon. Can Chen Snow see this? No, not yet. He can see two holes here. Uh, and otherwise, he does not know about the deleted walls. Let's see when he's going to find it. Winchester going archers here. So he's actually playing like some feudal age uh, build order. Few archers into a relatively fast castle. There we go, he's clicking up. He's got two archers out, three archers out right now. And building a few houses probably to get more line of sight, but his, his walls is Basically, uh, there's no wall basically. He destroyed all of it. Not sure what that's all about. He's got the archers out, it's good for him. And Chun Snow should be able to find the walls very soon. Archers, of course, for Winchester scouting around now. Chun Snow can see the holes of the walls, he can go in. I'm not sure if he's gonna say anything or just play on. So he knows Winchester is basically open. Winchester is basically playing Arabia here. Very close Arabia, of course, with a few, a little bit of forest there, but. Nothing too special. First town center coming up for Jon Snow on the main stone here. The archers only four range. Fletching coming in just now. Uh, won't be able to kill any villagers here. And of course the villagers of Loom, they are a little bit stronger. Nothing too special. Winchester taking map control obviously with the archers. He's got five archers out at this point. Is he getting more? He's up to castle age now. He's got enough for crossbow. He's Got almost enough food for and gold for Boatkin if this if he decides to do so. And going for the siege workshop, second town center for or third town center for Chun Snow coming up. Crossbow upgrade is done, plus one is done, but they would need plus two to hit the villagers. That's actually six tiles and the villagers are standing behind there, so Winchester has to go back. He's going aggressive, he's getting a monastery, he's getting a siege workshop out. Chun Snow on the other end playing the defensive part here. Got one monastery up. I think he got one relic inside his base. Something I haven't shown yet. There are two more. Yeah, one inside Winchester's uh, walls or or not. The second one close here. That's number three and number four on the side. Uh, Mangonel is out, hitting the TC already and a few crossbows patrolling here. I guess it was in the range of the TC. Now the scout is coming in. Is that a second scout? Mangonel shot on the scout? No, not happening. Now it does, killing the village at the same time. I guess the scout was healed then by the monk that's here. John's now getting his own siege workshop. Now he knows I need a defensive siege workshop or more monks and redemption, which obviously isn't getting. Only one monk, only one relic, uh, only one monastery. Winchester going for more and more crossbows, it seems, and more mangonels. He's going aggressive. He's got one TC, second TC coming up on the main gold here. So not going for a boom as you might expect from the Vikings here. Of course, very fast boom from the Vikings, but he decides to go aggressive, going to rush Jon Snow here. And this TC needs to be repaired already, which costs a lot of wood. Mangonels out for Jon Snow. Nice micro here from Winchester. He's uh, hitting the Mangonel a few times without taking too much damage. Actually, he's taken almost no damage. To be uh, exact, and Winchester's already seen this Mangonel. Mangonel dancing, starting, nice micro here. Chun's not doing the same thing. Very good from him. And repairing the town center uh, for longer, longer. Good shot here from Chun Snow, Winchester. Not paying too much attention, but changing the mangonels, <laughs> the injured one or the damaged one, hitting the TC while the other mangonel is hunting the mangonel from Chun Snow here. Mm, nice town center fire on this one, and one nothing for Chun Snow. Good defense. He's got a second one out now. The, the micro is really uh, going to hit off. Nice shot, uh, shot on those expos, but he's going out, losing. Uh, two at the same time, Chun Snow laughing here and not hitting anyone. So that's one against two. Winchester doing the better job here, microing. Very, uh, very impressive from him. He's getting more relics. I'm not sure if he can see that one. He see it. Yeah, he can see it. He's gonna get it. And maybe Chun Snow got the second one. Not sure. Yeah. Chun Snow got two in. Winchester with two right now. He's gonna get the third one. And this town center is actually down, being destroyed by four mangonels here. Jon Snow now getting a castle. He's got enough stone from the main stone here to get the castle up. Not sure about the position. Should have gone a little bit, maybe a little more to the side. Not too sure. Uh, Jon Snow is going to reave all this because four mangonels. Mm, nice reaction time from him. Bring the villager away. Is he going for another piece of wall? He's got 19 stone. That's enough actually. 
Uh, castle is up right at the exactly right time. Walling this with houses, maybe should do a wall here. But Winchester deciding, no, I'm not going in here. Winchester going for a knight stand, plus two defenses already done. And let's see how many... There is three, four and more coming up actually. So he's going really aggressive here, using all his resources. Not on stone yet, get the two TCs, he's getting a third one right now on stone. And villagers looking a little bit better for Chun Snow because Winchester got a, a huge amount of army. Good shot from the Manganel here once again, uh, better micro from Winchester, Chun Snow missing this one. And four Manganels now gonna hit the next town center for Chun Snow. Chun Snow going for Chukunu here, going for more Manganels, trying to defend from this. His resources all to the front, at least the main ones are not too good for him. Boat can never coming up to be able to compete with the, uh, the plus two crossbowmen. Another Manganel going in, good shot from Winchester. And Chun Snow has to go back while the town center losing more and more HP, a few villages repairing it. But it looks like it's gonna go down, that's two Manganels now from Chun Snow. Hitting one from Winchester, good job from him. Losing one, that's one for one in this fight. A uh, few villagers repairing, although the crossbow's hitting the Manganel. Very nice, um, very nice micro from Winchester. He is going for iron casting. Chun Snow going for padded archer armor, so we're gonna see more and more Chukunu being created. Where are they going right here? Chukunu, of course, very strong, even against Manganel, so that 8 plus 2 attack right now. But another castle coming up, and I'm assuming Chun Snow took a second stone somewhere. No, he must have bought a castle. Actually, he's taking the main stone. Got another mining camp here. Repairing the walls, or rewalling, let's say, like this. I'm sure if he's repairing that one, he should probably go for it. Another castle coming up close to the main goal. So Winchester's push is stopped for now. Chun Snow not close to Imperial Age. Winchester, on the other hand, got a lot of food. He's getting more gold in, and he's gonna be able to go to Imperial Age first, while only six villages behind, very good job from him. He is in the score lead therefore, and he once again won't be able to go into the eco from Jon Snow, but is putting a huge pressure on Jon Snow's base all the time, he's uh, making Jon Snow care here, and of course uh, then you can't boom too much, especially when you uh, need a lot of mangonels here few crossbows dying here at the castle fire and now Winchester is actually deciding to go in with the knights uh, that's 12 knights with plus 2 defense plus 2 attack that are fully upgraded uh, in this case in castle for vikings and we have 81 82 villagers starting for Jon Snow he's gonna lose a few there's 79 um, let's see how much is he gonna lose 78 75 villagers for Jon Snow Winchester basically sacrificing his, uh, his knights here, but the town center is full and he's gonna get a few more. Look at this, that's only 68, 67 villages for Chun Snow, both up to Imperial Age, but Winchester with the better end for him, I think. Still four knights alive and Chun Snow losing a lot of villages here. He's lost at least, fif at least 15. And the last knights are going down, there's only one left. It's gonna die right now, trying to hit the Manganel, not successfully. But a huge buff on the eco from Jon Snow, very strong. And Jon Snow revolving uh, re here because he fears that more knights might come in. Now let's see what Winchester is going to do. He's putting up more archer ranges, so we're gonna see the Arbalest and maybe lead skirmisher line. He is still not seeing his gold on the back here. One monk still here. Did he get the third relic in? He should have done so. Yeah, there we go. And both players arriving to, are going to Imperial Age. Winchester resources looking good. Should get... Oh, he's getting Onage immediately. Now getting a castle up. Probably Arbalest coming in soon. There we go. And Bracer, of course. Now that's not good for Chun Snow. He's going up the villagers, but still three Manganels are here. A few Chukuni, Chukunu hunting the Manganels down. Chun Snow is going back, but nice shots from him. Not a good... Not the best micro from Chun Snow. He's losing Losing a lot of Chukunu for nothing, basically. For no, for a few Mangalats, that's okay. But now Onitra coming in for Jon Snow, that's a, a huge upgrade. Castle is ready, is uh, done at this point. Now the castle on the other end, no, oh, Siege Workshop coming for Jon Snow. I thought he may, might have enough for the castle, but would be, have been a little bit early. Chemistry Conscription Ring Archer Armor coming in for Jon uh, for, for Winchester. Jon Snow going for another castle. Uh, Quite aggressive here, just um, among these around these buildings from Winchester. But Winchester got Arbalest and Onager out. Also, uh, still in plus two knights. And Onager going back here. Manganel there, not too much happening. Few Arbalest going out. 
The monastery might fall, but I think Winchester won't care too much at this point. On a chance, but unfortunately, nobody is losing two Onagers at the same time while not hitting uh, any Arbalest or the Onager from Winchester. Still the better end from Winchester, who is doing a very good job here, who is still in the score lead, who still has like 20 more villages. And going for more wood now. John Snow resources not looking too good while Winchester even getting Siege Engineers trap is out, second trap is gonna come out. I think this castle might get lost because John Snow not hitting the castle but right now only the monastery. Two traps now from him but they, mm, this one at least could be sniped by Monastery. Let's see what Winchester is going to do. Siege Engineers is done so these Onagers are fully upgraded basically. The um, monastery is going down eventually, and I'm not sure what this one was, maybe an um, uh, archery range. But three on the chest, a few are less moving forward while Jon Snow is repairing the castle here. Now Winchester getting a few villagers to repair the traps if needed. He's going for more trebuchets at this point. Not going forward, he's going forward a little bit now, getting more on it just to see if only one siege workshop, that's actually not enough, but he's fine for now as soon as, as long as he can uh, keep this on just alive. And Chance now calling GG here as he's losing this castle, because he could see I'm too far behind in eco. My resources are not looking too bad, but I have, I have only eight, 98 villagers and Jon Snow just killed another one of my castles. He got more on just and he's gonna uh, destroy my traps. I say kill the castle, that doesn't matter. And kill my two canoe here. Military better for Winchester, upgrades I think uh, better. And although Winchester played this like Arabia style a little bit, he's uh, managed to succeed with the push very slowly, but he got in once 12 full upgraded knights and caused uh, a huge damage on Jon Snow's eco. Not sure what happened on the right hand side, nothing too major I think. And Winchester would have won this game in the long run for sure because Jon Snow a little bit too far behind. So I hope you enjoyed this rather unusual game but Vikings uh, over Japanese, uh, over Chinese in this case. Very impressive game from Winchester and I'm hoping for more. See you next games. GG.